<clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Um, so today I'm gonna do a really big sale, selling a bunch of the horses that I no longer, um, require. This one will not be up. <laughs> Some of them have really high skills and really low genetic potentials, and my phone just froze. Okay, it's going to act up just when I get it recording. Alright. So I think I fixed it. So, this mare would stay. She's above my release. She's having a colt, and I don't think he'll stay. I just figured I'd show everyone, like, my routine on here. And then I'm getting bloop some horses. Oh, Star Dutch is about to have a baby. Oh, I don't think Star's staying. Oh, Star is staying, but her, genet her skill set is really low. You'll see what his ear is, and if they are, um, his skills are extremely low. But he is a 15. Okay. That's not horrible. So it's not like great. It's not. His skills um, are probably what's going to lead him to the cell board. So if you're looking for a good cult. Might want to check the sales. Because uh, Midnight Jack might be there. By the time I upload this video. The horses will probably already be in the sale. So like if you're watching this. You might want to go and check. <laughs> The ones I can't sell are normally the ones I want to sell so bad. I have one that I, I'm just wishing I could sell because he sucks. We're also going to do a little bit of sides with this one. Just a little bit. No, I think this is one I can't sell. Let's go down. Yeah, I can't sell this one. I'm actually almost done doing this one. I might finish her today, too. I know there's a couple I'm going to finish up. This is like my everyday routine. I get on here every day, and I just do this. Well, I haven't been on here for a few days, but... I've had issues going on. Or this is a female. Her, I love her skills. Okay, she's definitely staying. You see that that genetic potential there? She's saying, oh, she's also bred. Um, this should be amazing foal. Her skills, everything is done. She has her twenty wins. I'm actually itching to see what this foal looks like now. <laughs> I used to do quarter horses, but I changed to thoroughbred. I don't know why I wanted to randomly say that. If you can't tell, my money's a little low right now, a little tight. Oh, she's having a cult. Um, but she's not okay. I'm gonna be cheap today. I 
we go. We just gotta get her boarded or something so I can see what baby she has. <clears throat> Before we look at her baby, let's look. Her skills are amazing. She has 25 wins. She's a 13. I don't remember what she's bred to. Oh, I could look at that before the baby gets here, right? She's bred to my side. This should be a really pretty baby. But it's a cult, so he's probably not staying. It's gotta be, like, phenomenal for him to stay. So this is Dark Actor. He is a dreamer. Also, if you want to buy a horse and they have my affix and you don't want them affixed, um, just let me know. I, I think that's how you say it. Or affix, whatever it is. Okay, his skills are not the greatest I've had, but they're pretty great, um, especially to him not to be tiered. He is a 15, so this one is definitely... Um, well, I can't say that because I think I have one higher. If, the rule is, if I have one higher, I keep the foal. But, I think I do have a one that's going to be higher than him. So, I mean, just keep your eyes open, guys, because some of these horses are really good um, for me because I'm, I'm, you know, not that great. Do I have any more mares in that? Oh, okay, so Sybil's still... Okay, and these... I think these are due. All four of those. They should be. Oh, she's not in a facility? Okay. Let's go ahead and get her boarded because, you know, I could have just put a blanket on her, but I don't really feel like doing that. We rushed her in the Triple Crown Elliot. Or Elite, however you want to say that. She's not able to be covered right now, which is okay with me. This takes forever. It's so nerve-wracking. She's actually underweight. That's shocking. Hmm. I can't cover this one either. It's always sad when I can't cover my mare. Because I like to like rotate them out. Like if I have these falling, I'll have this one falling. Because I can't have horses in real life, so this is, like, the best I can do. And my money is steadily going down. So yeah, I, I need to sell some horses. Like, I haven't sold any in a little while. And I need to sell some. And I need to sell some of my, um, 
how rolling horses, as I call them. Oh, okay. What's what's wrong with you? I hate that this phone just wants to act up on me, like when I'm getting to places I need to go. This is Casper. Okay, I do not do my studs. Like, I don't do them until, like, I need the freedom. And, um... Okay. Nickers was a girl, but she is now a boy. Uh, Nickers was a boy, and now she is a girl. What did I click? Oh, there. Yeah, I clicked the right thing. It always surprises me how much these things actually are. Like, as you can see, I'm going broke just boarding horses. Like, that's where all my money went. I'm boarding horses. I would could have put that one in the triple crown too, but I always click just the first one. Okay. Well. And I only bed down the mares because, um, I don't have peace stones on any of them. Any of my studs yet? Well, I think there's one I do, but he's not a thoroughbred. And if I don't have peace stones on them, I don't, like, you know, I don't offer them to the public or anything like that because I try to use up all their covers myself. I do offer the foals to the public, of course. Oh, well, Sybil's not to you. Oh. She needs to be boarded. Um, I forgot why I was waiting on Sybil's full, so I'm gonna look. Oh, that's why. Because her skill set is amazing. Well, not really. But, you know. I saw a horse today. Um, a stud in the public coverings and he was like his genetic potential was like 18 and I was blown away of course I shouldn't have been but you know compared to my horses that's really good I have 17s I don't think I have 18s This is another one of my studs, and this, I think this is, like, one of my favorites. I love his heels. Yeah, he's one of my favorites. He's a 17. This horse after this, um, she's gonna be moved to my coat collection. <laughs> I just had her over here because I didn't have a coat collection at the time, but after this she'll be moved to my coat collection. And I don't think I'm gonna breed to her after this because I have more horses. I mean, she's she's an immortal, I believe. I don't I have to scroll down. So I'm probably keeping her filly. I think it was a dapple gray filly. Yeah, okay. 
she has all this on her. So she's definitely being moved. Um, I should have looked at her genetic potential. My phone lags up when I scroll down on this game, and I don't know why. It won't scroll over. But yeah, she's being retired. She's had five poles. She's actually ten months along. It is a filly. She's bred to Stormy work. So I'm probably keeping this one. And I might actually keep a colt that's like not related to my stud. I know most people do breed back to their parents. But um, you know, I, I just don't like doing that. I think there's one more that's going in there, and then I'm gonna, some of these are, are every, a bunch of these are gonna be here. Oh look, we can get an ultrasound. It's a filly! And this will replace Stella's mom. Because I think she might be like a 13, or she, probably 12. I paid a lot of money for this one. She's 13. And I don't think she has a pat, a peep sewn on her. Have I been calling it a pass this whole time? <laughs> this is so long. And I think I still have, I think I have her daughter. I think I have Stella too. I wish I would have did twins on this one, because this is a really good mare. Yeah, this is Stella. She's a 13 as well. She's actually not bred to my stud. He must have been a really high one. I never thought I'd see a horse that's older than her mom until I got to sell. Okay, I got arrested. Um, now we're just gonna feed her. And bed her down. If for her to be 24, she's actually looking really good. Um, but this is probably gonna be her last foal. Because I don't like them dying on me. So she will be moved as well. I'm probably going to put like a golden apple. Pudding. This is the mare's last bowl too. And you guys, this mare is phenomenal. She's ready for my storming war. I like to use him a lot. He's he's brilliant. We're just gonna go down and look at her what she has on her. I think these two are the only ones she has. Yeah, I could tell if my phone wasn't acting up. Okay, I think I got it. Um, that's not the only two she had, apparently. Uh, what the hell is that scrolling over? 
Okay, I think I got it now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's try this again. Casually scroll down. Oh, okay. Oh, she has to... Okay. So, yeah, she's amazing. Let's get her registered into a boarding facility. Alright, and that is the last of my thoroughbreds. Now we'll calmly look at my coat collection. I love Champion. That's a beautiful one. I have a very beautiful coat collection, right? This is actually all the quarter horses I have left. They're all right in this area. Um, you see the ones that are pregnant. I don't know where the donkey came from. Alright. Let's go blue the horsey. Okay, so this one needs to be, um, I don't, I think, put in a equestrian stuff center. Yes. Her filly will probably be for sale because, um, I don't think I'd keep that. Alright guys, um, so I'm actually going to end this video here and I'm going to do another one on bleeping. Um, I hope you come back for the second one, but this, um, to me it seemed a little boring, but please come back for the second one.